1625, Francis Bacon said that, in charity there is no excess. However, in 2009, the National Council of Voluntary Organisations reported that there are over 170,000 charities in the UK alone. Is this vast number a reflection of the amount of good that is being done to help those in need, or does it indeed show a charity culture which is spiralling out of control? What do I define charity to be? Well, charity as a formal organisation is slightly different to it as a principle. Charity as a principle is giving something to somebody to help them out. That's what charity is, my understanding. Then what a charity becomes as an organisation or an institution, that's a slightly different thing. Uh, two good things. Yeah, it um, brings together groups of people that um, uh, from the community that want to help people and that's always a good thing all the time you get people involved in helping others uh, and it brings I think a side of compassion into um, communities and, and people um, it also raises the issues uh, of people less fortunate than, than others um, when they advertise charity <laughs> mother always used to say that God helps those who help themselves. So you're not quite sure where your, where your stuff is going to. And you, know, you might be giving this stuff to someone who is just plain, too plain lazy to work hard enough for them to go and get their own things. And I guess in that way, you're only helping them in the short term because in the long run, they're still going to end up being lazy people. Myself, personally, I've had one or two people knocking on my door in the last six months and saying, this won't take a minute, just fill in this direct debit and away we go. I've learned how to navigate around in Brighton, otherwise you spend half your life talking to people about that. Post the face-to-face -face stuff pressurises you slightly uh, in so much as you don't like to turn people down but uh, that's the reason why collectors, charity collectors aren't meant to um, shake the tin on me or, or approach you, they're meant to just stand there and uh, you're meant to approach them. Oh no, no, no. Especially when they come and they, you can obviously tell that they're coming from charity because they're either like dressed in like some annoying green colour or like red and they've got like these like uh, either overly smiley faces and they're telling you come and help this and, uh, 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 don't get drunk into that uh, you run as quick as you can charity I think charity is a, f it's, a it's a um, it's a symptomatic fix not a, not a long term solution I think charity by its nature is a, is a fix rather than a solution. I've recently looked at doing my new challenge for Everest um, and one of the organisations that I was looking at um, doing my challenge through uh, donated a lot of their money many years ago towards the uh, vaccine for polio and obviously now polio is pretty much eradicated. Do I think we're better by giving them money than them, the poor people that can't give money? Um, no, the answer is no. However, is there a perception that if pop stars or football players and uh, the, people, the wealthy give to charity, is there a perception that they're better people than they would be if they didn't give to charity? And I think there is a public perception on those type of people. People, people, I don't know if you say people are short-sighted here. You, you sort out the problems in your house first going out and sort out person in somebody else's house. And that's true charity. When you can look outside yourself and see those who are in need. Not the people that you're told I need. Use your eyes and see that these people are around you in need and you can help them directly. That is true charity. It's not always about giving money. It's not always about giving clothes. It's not always about giving food. It's about giving yourself that extra of you. Mm -hmm.